solving quadratic equations by factoring in five minutes. We use factoring to rename a polynomial to create a product. Because if the product of two quantities is equal to zero, then we know that at least one of the factors must be equal to zero. Let's take a look at this quadratic equation. x squared minus 5x is equal to zero. Technically, we cannot solve this equation right now because we have two terms that are unlike. And there's no way for us to isolate a single variable with a power of one when we have an x squared. So we're gonna rename this left side of the equation. We're gonna take this polynomial and factor out a GCF. Once I've factored out the GCF of x, I'm left with a product. These are two terms that when multiplied together equal zero. And the only way for a product to have an answer of zero is for one of these factors to actually be equal to zero. So that means either the first factor has to be equal to zero or the second factor has to be equal to zero. And if that's the case, then I can split this into two separate statements. The first statement would be that the first factor is equal to zero. And the second statement would be that the second factor is equal to zero. So that means that x could potentially be one or x could potentially be five. Either one of these numbers would make the equation true. So if I think that x could be equal to zero or five, that means if I plug a zero in for this x and a zero in for that x, that I would get zero times negative five. And that is in fact equal to zero. The next option would be to replace the letter x with the number five. And that would leave me with five times zero is equal to zero, which is also true. So those are the two possible solutions. Let's try that one more time. If a product is equal to zero, either the first factor is equal to zero or the second factor is equal to zero. Sometimes there's nothing to do to find the answer and sometimes you have to perform an inverse operation. But in either case, this sentence has two possible solutions, zero or negative three. What if both of the factors were expressions? Well, the same rule applies. Each factor has the potential to be the zero. So either x plus five is equal to zero or x minus three is equal to zero. We call this the splits, where we take our original one equation and turn it into two. Using our inverse operations, we can find our potential two solutions. X is either equal to negative five or X is equal to positive three. Sometimes the solutions are not integers. Here, my first factor, 2x plus 7, could be the zero factor. Or it could be the second statement, x minus 4. Over here, when I use an inverse operation, I get a nice whole number. But on the left side here, when I subtract 7 and then divide by 2, I actually get a rational number or a decimal value. We can leave it in fraction form like this or we could convert it to a decimal if we wish. But these are the two solutions. In this example, when I start, my equation is not actually equal to zero. Therefore, I can't factor or rename it yet because the zero product rule wouldn't apply. So I'm gonna take this 16 X and I'm gonna move it to the left-hand side, giving me X squared minus 16 X is equal to zero. And now, I'm going to factor using one or multiple possible solutions. I can factor out a GCF, I can factor a difference of two squares, or I can factor a trinomial. In this case, I only have a GCF. 
Now what I'm going to do is split my two factors. Either the first factor is zero or the second factor is zero. So that means my answers are zero or positive 16. Don't forget the main rules when factoring to solve. Be sure the equation is set equal to zero. Make sure one side is already written in factored form or you write it in factored form. Then do the splits. Set each factor equal to zero to create more than one equation and then solve each equation to find the possible solutions.